Hey there, it's Minivan Mark here. Thought I better take some videos of my vans uh, before it gets completely snowed in here in Michigan. And uh, yeah, this is my 1994 Plymouth Voyager high top conversion van. Uh, got a Chrysler Town and Country grill on it just because I thought it looked better. Uh, paint's peeling on the hood. It's not the original hood. Uh, it's had some accident damage. That's why the pinstripe there doesn't match either. It's got wheels off a 2000 Chrysler Town and Country. 16 inch wheels, whereas 15 inch would be the, the standard size. And yeah, tinted windows. Um, it's a Michigan van. Taken pretty good care of. I had some rust damage there, which I very quickly hackeried and patched over. Uh, other than that, not much rust. There was some rust around the window in the back hatch, which also I just cleaned out and slobbered over. Um, it's got a trailer hitch on it, which I put on there. Um, also has air shocks on there. Um, yeah, cross country by Galavel Vans. Ooh, fancy. Um, yeah. Door on one side, bringing back the 90s. Um, mismatched seats, it's kind of a long story. But yeah, that's what it had, very fancy wood grain. Had mood lighting in there too. Used to have a TV there. Now it has a roll of toilet paper and other picnic supplies. Used to have a VCR there. Now it's got, uh, what is that? Red Solo Cups, all right. Uh, used to have a cassette deck. Uh, let's see, paper towels, yeah, I don't know, cups, plastic forks, spoons, picnic supplies, you know? Um, Passengers had a hookup for their own headphones, for the TV and the stereo. Their own little lights, also very nice wood grain. Um, in the center section here, there were some fancy, I guess there were some fancy colored lights called, and they call mood lighting, which have never worked for me. When I first got it, it had all the other things and they all worked. It's just a storage compartment back there. Um, yeah. Yeah. I have the, I have this wooden rack back there instead of the rear seat, which I don't carry more than four people very often. So that back there is a lot handier for carrying stuff. I made those, those, uh, whatever you call them, foil window covers at one time because I thought that we were gonna sleep in it overnight. Did not happen. Actually, never slept in this van. Yet, yet. Um, yeah, it's got the pretty standard other than that. Uh, that's one thing about this, these vans. From what I've seen is when they made a conversion van, they usually started with a pretty stripped down model. That's why it does not have the, the fancy, doesn't have digital dash, doesn't have the whole temperature compass thing and all that. And yeah, I made some things. I made this front suite, this front seat swivel. And that's probably worthy of another video at that point, because that was a pretty good, pretty good operation. That's why these seats don't match anymore because the seat that was here is actually now in the front and it's on a swivel so you can turn it around and face back um, other than that yeah pretty messy pretty messy vans become sheds very quickly don't they um yeah other than that 3.3 liter no powerhouse uh, probably gets about 18 to 19 miles per gallon. Yep, 
3.3 liter V6. Uh, it's been good. The air is working with the air works. Uh, heat blows nice and hot. I see there's some extra electronics added on in there. That's for the various stuff that goes in the, the, the conversion part, the TV, VCR, all that stuff. And I was in an accident at one time. That's why it had some hack repairs done there. I'm not really sure what's going on with that, but the, that's why the hood's not original. Hood's also got a bit of a bulk buckle into it. It doesn't line up perfectly. Um, yeah, overall, very happy with it. All right, talk to you later.